and we are back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create the galaxy blend effect. What we need is an image of a galaxy and in this case I've also used an image of a woman and you want to use the cursor tool to rotate it. Just click on it and you can rotate it and you want to resize it. If it's too small it needs to be bigger than the image. Then right click on the image and trace bitmap. In most cases you can just use the defaults. You want to uncheck the invert image effect. In some cases might even work with the invert. But I like it that way and if you click on OK it's not only generated here in this preview window. You can also see it directly layered on top of the image. And this is what we need. The exact values within that bitmap menu, they obviously depend on the image that you use. I'll just try out the default. For me it works quite fine. In most cases, make sure it's on top of the galaxy. And then you can just select it both, right click and set the clip. But as you can see there are some small little details that I don't want to have in this blend. And a way to deal with that is to just use the Bezier tool. Create a simple path around the shapes that you don't want to have and then make sure this is selected and the entire bitmap. So you can see both are selected, then go to path and use difference. And now this is excluded from the bitmap. We've got on top more stuff to work with. So I simply left click with the Bezier tool. I don't even create curves here. There's no need for it. If you have to create curves, just click and then drag. As you can see here, it creates a problem when we enable the snapping because the bitmap has its own nodes and it's going to snap to it. So I've turned the snapping off, the way I can create this path way easier. Once again, select both, so the entire bitmap and the new path that we've created, go to path and use difference. Now repeat the process, make sure it's on top, select both, right click, set clip. And this result looks way better than the one we've created before. And that's the general process of creating this galaxy blend in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.